we arrived, we arrived in Christchurch, and uh, this was in the middle of winter in June, and it was so, so cold. And I sat in front of the fire, day in, day out, and my father-in-law will walk in and say that they are so hot and I'm still cold. But um, yeah, that's where I started. And then we were in Christchurch for a few months, and then we moved up to Auckland. And we've been in Auckland ever since. At that time in the early 70s when we migrated, there was hardly any Fijian families in Auckland. There was only two Fijian families which we knew about. When we arrived here, I made sure I contacted them uh, because I was so lonely. It is hard migrating to a new country, coming from home from Fiji and the Pacific, then moving to a country like New Zealand, which is very different. Different in the lifestyle, different in just getting out of your house to go into the supermarket, different in every way. When you make a move to another country, you are making a move for the better. You're making a move to upgrade your lifestyle, uh, upgrade the education of your children. This is when they were growing up. And if you think you can't do that, then there's no point in migrating. I think the first thing was for my children to have a better education and uh, to grow from there. We worked really hard to support them. And at the same time, when my kids were still at school, I was studying as well. You know, when you go through hard times, there's always light at the end of the tunnel. And I always tell my children, you know, even if we struggle a bit, you know, we will make it. Because it's not easy to bring up three boys and all playing rugby at the same time and to get everything ready for them. There's a lot of expectations for parents. It's not easy because specific parents, we sometimes, we think that your children should do what you want them to do, you know? And I know a lot of Pacific uh, parents say the same thing. I want my son to be a lawyer. I want my daughter to be, a, you know, to be so and so. And uh, but I think we're learning as we grow with our children. Now a lot of Pacific parents give their children choices. You want to be a police officer. You want to be an Air Force officer. You you make a choice for yourself. As long as they're happy, they're comfortable, they're successful in what they do. You've done your job. My grandchildren. At the moment, we are trying very hard to make sure they speak the language. They understand um, they can throw Fijian language here, there. And I always tell my children, and now my grandchildren, if you want to be um, known as a Fijian, then you need to speak the language and also understand the culture. Hola. For me personally, I'm very proud of uh, the achievements that our family has uh, achieved with my children. He's uh, always called in Japan number 13 because that was his number. Everybody calls him in Japan number 13. I think that's uh, that's a great joy for me and I think um, that just about says what I've what I migrated for is for my children to do well and uh, if something happens to me I'm happy because I have done what I came to do.